Question 36 says, in a series LCR circuit as shown in the figure, the readings of voltmeter V and ammeter A are. The students, in the circuit we can see that the reading of voltmeter as marked is 0, which means that the net voltage drop across this arm is 0, and hence it is a case of resonance. The total potential drop will be across the resistance only, and hence this voltage will read 400 volt that is the reading of the source and the ammeter will read 400 by 100 that will be 4 amperes therefore the correct answer for this question will be 400 volt comma 4 ampere or option number 4 now let us solve the question number 37 question 37 says a transistor oscillator using a resonant circuit with an inductor L of negligible resistance and a capacitor C in series produces oscillations of frequency F. If L is tripled and C is changed to 4C, the new frequency will be. Dear students, the frequency in this case is equal to 1 by root pi root L C. Therefore, we can write down that F1 by F2 is equal to under root L2 C2 by under root L1 C1. It is given that the L is tripled and C is changed to 4C which means that this will be equal to 3 into 4 that will be under root 12 this one this means that f2 will be equal to f1 by root 12 or f by root 12 which will be equal to f by 2 root 3 this makes that the option number 4 of this question is the correct answer now let us solve the question number 38 Question 38 says, a step-down transformer is used in a 4000 volt line to deliver 40 ampere at 200 volt at the secondary coil. If the efficiency of transformer is 60%, then the current drawn from the line is. Dear students, the efficiency eta can be written as P output divided by P input, where P is the power. Therefore, we can write down that 60 by 100 is equal to output power that can be written as the secondary voltage multiplied by the secondary current divided by primary voltage multiplied by the primary current. The students on substituting the given values that is the primary voltage is given to be 4000 volts the secondary current is 40 amperes the secondary voltage is 200 volts we can write down that 60 by 100 is equal to 200 into 40 divided by 4000 into I primary and on solving we get a value of I to be equal to 10 by 3 amperes which means that for this question option number 2 is the correct answer now let us solve the question number 39 question 39 says ampere Maxwell's law is the students the ampere's Maxwell law among the four given options is as per the option number 3 this is a fairly factual question the first is the Faraday's law the second is the Gauss's law in magnetism and the third is the Gauss's law in electrostatics Therefore, for this question, option number 3 is the correct answer. Now, let us solve the question number 40. Question 40 says, when the capacitor is being charged, then first, conduction current is 0, but the displacement current is not 0. Second, conduction current is not 0, but the displacement current is 0. Third, both conduction and displacement currents are in same direction. Fourth, conduction and displacement currents are in opposite direction. Dear students, the displacement current is given as epsilon naught d phi e by dt where d phi e by dt is the differentiation of the electric flux with respect to time therefore displacement current can be written as epsilon naught d q by epsilon naught by dt where q is the charge on the plates we can see that this will be equal to dq by dt which is nothing but the conduction current and hence the conduction and the displacement currents are same and in same direction which means that the option number three is the correct answer now let us solve question number 41 Thank you.